What up, Coop Group? Welcome to Alliance Wars Season 35, War Number 4, where X5V takes on Legion, L. Now, they've been in Masters many different seasons in a row. Uh, they've also been Plat 1, but I believe they're mainly Masters. They're definitely pushing for it, as are we. So this is a really good war of two really good Masters alliances going off against one another. Um, and they ended up banning Torch, Quake, and Ghost, which means Herc is on the table. But I was not assigned Herc. Or any of my rank fours this war. Um, I was assigned Warlock, White Mags, so pre fights, and Falcon. Um, so I was actually really excited for this war when I was given my assignments because they're all fights I've basically done before, not too hard. Um, I didn't really ask much help. I was given advice for the first fight uh, because there's no willpower on that I bomb, and I was told I can move after the boss is down. So, if boss is down, it's next morning. Uh, well, boss got down in the morning, and I woke up, and I was waking up first, did some fights, did some battlegrounds, woke up, made sure my, um, all of my controls were working in the game, reset the game, and went in and boosted up. Um, so, it was between Char and I to finish our, uh, our map in Battle Group 2, Deathless. No one had died up to this point in this war in our Battle Group. And Char, who's another person in a battle group, and myself were the last ones to go. And I was hoping to beat him before um, he finished. But sadly, he finished before I did, and it was my turn. I was the last one in a battle group to determine whether or not um, we're going to be get a donut for this war. For the first donut, I believe, um, this season. And I believe last season, too. I don't, I don't know if we got a donut last season. Maybe we got one. Um, but... I was excited to get donut, so I am boosting up big for what is for me. I actually put on a tech boost in accident there and wanted to put on a skill boost, so I just took away the tech boost. I didn't need it for this fight. Uh, I mainly need just a uh, guy power stat one. I was told power stat one, not involved, because if you take a special three to the face in this fight, the acid burn will burn you down, and I'd rather not get burned down. So my goal is go to a special three. And throw it if and when I'm in trouble of his power. So if he gets to the pistol 3, make sure I throw my pistol 3 first. You'll see in a second, right there, I got really close to him getting the pistol 3. So I'm like, screw it. I'm throwing my pistol 3 now. Um, I have to be watching his poisons for sure, for sure. Because if it goes to 1, and next hit will give him a poison. Um, and then Conflictor will basically make him go more power. I think it's 50% of our power per debuff. For a debuff, every few seconds. Um, and I have a wet Magneto pre fight on this fight, luckily. So it's going to help make it so I can stun him whenever I want, as you can see. Um, it is somewhat of a longer fight. Um, I've seen Vision do this fight before. Vision can easily handle this fight, but so can Warlock. And I have a fight later in the map, my fourth fight, which I believe Vision wouldn't handle as well, as well as Warlock at least. So I was assigned Warlock. I could throw a special 2 right there, but it wouldn't finish him off, so it's just pointless. Bane special 2 is evade out, dash in, um, and just gonna do what I can. He's throwing specials, luckily, special 1s and 2s. Uh, I'm going to special 3 again, hopefully. I won't push him. Conflictor is about to activate. He has 2 hits left. Throw special 2, luckily. Dash out. I miss a dash out, but it's fine. Take block damage. Um, I have a Havoc fight later, which I, I don't plan on losing any health to that fight, but I might have to heal up. We'll see. I really didn't want to heal up. I also didn't want to die if I took a heavy attack out of nowhere and I get feedback to death um, against Havoc. So yeah, he is just degening and just power burning like crazy. And this fight is over. So pretty simple fight. Just watch his power. Watch Conflictor if you have to. And on to the second fight. This is a Mordo on Vivified and Brute Force. So if you're not hitting him over and over, you get Brute Forced. And then he gets 200% more power gain i believe combat to power gain also with vivified so i put on a wet you know pre-fight so i can stun him whenever i want although to be honest with falcon um if i'm locked on i can stun him anyways and i get some nice crit buffs because of that if i hit him through his stun when he's supposed to be evading um i'm gonna put an invuln on for this fight next fight because vivified he may go to special three and i don't feel like healing up to be honest i would have rather gone no invuln at all for this whole war because I need to save invulns, but I decided to go one invuln instead of two for this whole war. Because I'm losing them, and I'd rather not 
end up at zero invulns and just end up dying a lot more. Because I did die last war, and because I died last war, it took some, took some pain off my shoulders. Some stress off my shoulders. So the fight's going really well. Um, I am somehow timing that power really well. Right here, he's just running at me. He throws a special right when his power ends, his power gain ends. So I'm able to get that down. It's not really nice. I'm going to put on my lockdown again just because I can um, to do more damage. He throws his special again right before the power gain goes. And it's going really well. He's at 3%. Will I bait special? No, I'm just going to hit him and he's dead. So I'm at 97%. I don't have to heal up at all for the next fight. Falcon vs. Doom. Done this fight before. I think in the first war of the season. I did it last season also. Um, this is Doom on Hazard Shift, Shock, and Bleed. If you get shocked, Doom can heavy you to death. That's why he's on this node. Um, also, it's one eye open. But with the White Mag pre-fight, you can hit him as much as you want during one, one eye open. Um, my inbound is still going. Luckily, I got a lot of times that mortal fight was really quick. Um, I backed out after putting the White Mag pre-fight to make sure I don't accidentally do any hits. I see the White Mag pre-fight is there, and I go in. So my goal here is to only hit him when I am locked on. If I hit him when I'm not locked on, then I will get a debuff from Hazard Shift. I'd rather not get a Shocker Bleed and just have as much health as I can um, for this whole fight. Plus, I'll be baiting Special 1s because if I bait Special 2, then I take a lot of block damage and I'd rather not deal with that. And there's plenty of time in this fight, plenty of time to bait Special 1s. Um, also, because Falcon has the um, Global... I can evade all I want and not deal with Mystic Dispersion. So it's really nice. Uh, locked on again. Get on. Get my special 2 right here. Get some nice big damage. I do have a... I do not have a power back boost. I thought I had a... Cause I, I got no power back at all there. I thought I had a... Scale power boost. Guess not. Um, I think at one point I actually throw a special into his... Um, or of Hazareth, so I'm not very smart, but I'm just watching. So many things to watch in this fight. Lockdown back on again. Perfect. Reparry. Awesome. Um, I'm not going to get shocked. I think I'm going to bait special one right here. A nice dash back. To be honest, during my, um, I think right here I hit into the Aura of Hazareth. I just want to finish it. And right there, luckily the Aura just ended um, and he didn't um, auto block or just stop my special from hitting him wasting time before my locked on comes back locked on is about to be back i don't know what happened there um but i'm just gonna dash back here and just hold block perfect parry and let's go um so i got about 25 percent left I got plenty of time i'm doing really well in this fight i'm not taking too much block hits right there as i say that um oh that was a close one um right here i think i have a special one meaning to throw a special two and luckily he didn't Stop it from happening. Um, I could just finish him off here, but it's a bad idea. I'm not going to get shocked to death. This is my last Falcon fight, but I'd rather not deal with it. Locked back on, back on again. Reparry. Miss a repair because he throws a heavy. Not a big deal, and he is dead. So that fight went really well. Um, could have gone a lot worse. And the final fight of the war. This Warlock vs. Havoc on Hazard Shift, Shock, and Bleed. Now, I've never actually fought this fight on Shock and Bleed. I've done it on Hazard Shift, Incinerate, and Poison, but it's the same idea. Only hit during one phase of the Hazard Shift. Um, this does have Nerds of Steel, so he will gain some... I um, believe he gains some armor ups every few seconds, but if I hit into his block, the armor ups go away. Um, so you see a hit into his block once in a while, push him back. Works out really well. Um, and I only plan to hit him during the Bleed phase, which is the second phase. He starts in the Shock. Um, same idea with the incinerate and poison. He starts to incinerate. You gotta wait it out. Um, but yeah, I have a power back boost on because I just want this fight to go quicker, and I don't want to die. So into the fight I go. He's throwing heavies like crazy. Awesome, and off we go. Off we pop. Throwing some hits into the bleed phase. Trying to get some some power up and get the special two. I plan to use my special two in the next phase if I can. The next bleed phase. Um, and if I have to bait special 1, I will, but I'd just rather bait heavy attacks if I can. Um, he throws a special 1, I have a nice evade of it. Hit it into his block to take away some of those po or some of those armor ups. I thought I missed that first evade, but I didn't. If I take it to the face, I have an armor up, which will be fine. And off we go with the special 2, get some power back, because I do a, like, maybe like no crits at all. Kind of sad, but unblockable. Oh no, boom boom. thought I missed that also, but I didn't. Then I wait out the shock phase again. Hit into his block just to take away some of those um, armor ups because I'm not going to let him have those. 
Going to want my hits to do as much power as I can. Um, and bleed phase is back as he throws the heavy right into it. So off we pop again into hitting him. Um, anytime I parry him, it does drain his power, which is nice. Um, and I'm going to have the armor up the whole fight. Special 2, some power back again. Now, if I had recoil, I could do some bigger damage. And shock, oh no. So I'm going to wait at the shock phase one more time. Now, if I was concerned about timing, I would put suicides on. And I would hit him anyways. Bleed is back. I'm going to do a, a thought I did a dash back there where I'm being safe. And special 2 when this, he is done. Four fights down. This battle group 2 is deathless with a donut. We did it. Um, I think there's a message below from Mad Dog Krispy Kreme for <laughs> breakfast for everyone. Because it was breakfast time. It was morning. And we got a donut in our battle group. So we actually fought this war really well. X5V did extremely well. We ended up winning this war. I think it was like 3 to 10. This is our best war yet this whole season, which I am proud of X5V from everyone just doing really well. Battle Group 3 got, about, got a donut also. Battle Group 1 did really well, just fighting so many hard fights. Um, we had some really good plans. Um, good job, officers. Good job to everyone for just executing the plan, especially Battle Group 2 and 3. Um, Four fights using one 6k potion, which I used before that Havoc, which I'm not happy about, but got to be safe rather than sorry. 9-3, uh, to three, so Legion did really well too. Good job, Legion, under 10 deaths. Um, we've been over 10 deaths many times last season, and hopefully we never do that again. So three wins and one loss with Falcon now on top of Kitty as the main attacker of the season. Um, looking forward to the rest of the season and seeing how it turns out with some other really hard Masters Alliances. I expect X5B to step up and continue doing amazing. This is Coop. Sign off. Happy gaming.